dislocations. Two types of hip joint dislocations, posterior and anterior. Hip dislocation of any type is an emergency. The posterior dislocation of the hip, it is more common. The lower limb will be flexed, adducted and internally rotated. Could be a dashboard injury. Examine the knee to rule out PCL injury. Here is the normal position of the hip. Here is the position of the extremity after posterior dislocation. Here is a patient with posterior dislocation of the hip. You can see the internal rotation of the right lower extremity. Always check the static nerve function. Weakness of the ankle and toe dorsiflexion due to injury of the perineal division of the sciatic nerve may result in foot drop. Always check for foot drop. The patient will be unable to dorsiflex the ankle. Anterior hip dislocation is rare. It could be superior anterior hip dislocation and the lower extremity will be extended, abducted, and externally rotated. You can see the position of the lower extremity after anterior dislocation of the hip. This is an anterior inferior hip dislocation. We call it the obturator type. In this case, the lower limb will be flexed, abducted, and externally rotated. Hip fractures are different than hip dislocation. In hip fracture, the affected extremity will be shortened and externally rotated. This patient had a posterior hip dislocation. Watch that the affected extremity is shortened and internally rotated. After reduction of the left hip, notice that rotation of the legs are similar. Emergency reduction of the dislocation is needed in less than 8 hours of the injury. Urgent reduction is mandatory to avoid injury to the blood supply with avascular necrosis and collapse of the femoral head. AVN or avascular necrosis is death of a segment of the bone. CT scan should be obtained after reduction to evaluate the presence of fragment in the joint and to assess the stability of the hip joint. Hip joint dislocation may be associated with a stabular fracture or femoral head fractures. We call it Pipkin fracture. And here is an example that shows posterior stabular wall fracture. And here is an example of a Pipkin fracture or femoral head fracture. In these cases, you do urgent close reduction of the hip dislocation, followed by stabilization of the fracture establum or the femoral head fracture if needed according to the protocols. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.